Joss, I'm back with episode 8, I believe, of Mr. A and Mind's co-op campaign in Third Age as Gondor. So, we are currently salvaging our lands. So, we have managed to, I think they re-attacked this, if I remember. It's been a few days since we recorded. Lynn hurt, so we managed to revoke that attack. And we are now sieging Brad Harm. So, we are pushing into the land, and this is quite a weak settlement especially compared to the army I've got attacking it or oh, Mr. A's got attacking it and then over here we repelled the siege of Asgiliath and we are now and we've also taken Car Adondas but it looks like they are going to be sieging it in a minute but we have a sizable army here which should be able to deal with it especially with the archers but they do have reinforcements but they're 11 so I'm guessing they're two depleted armies and one unit of orc uh, maulers and then up in this settlement there's a sizable force here but I'm guessing they'll stay and protect that if not we will defeat them so we could really do to slowly start to take out uh, push this way and then do we push down or do we push across that is the question I guess we probably want to push across so we can defend uh, across all this front over here so let us get started so I'm guessing it pretty much end turns I don't know if I can attack this one yet no so we have got to end the turn let us begin so let us see how we do <clears throat> it's gonna be it's gonna be a question oh some more doors moving up there so it looks like they're combining the armies Ooh, and they've got another army there. So, the, so it looks like they're making a big push. Yeah, it looks like they are making a big push for... <clears throat> not sure about Gilead, but I think Car Adros they are. So he is... Yeah, he's good to sit in a settlement, to be fair. End of turn report. 169, that's fine. Largest faction. So we're the largest at the minute. Which is good, which shows... We are slowly taking them, but this guy's a threat. And all these rebel armies kind of around here are. So. They've not moved. It looks like they're going to do a pronged attack. So this army, they're two units. Now they've got... Obviously a couple... Yeah, you've taken two units out of here. Oh, so that is... Good. So we could do to actually see... Right, so they're not... Quite depleted. Orc band, orc raiders. Uh, about them for the archers are good. They're depleted. Yeah, all the missiles depleted. So it's generally just the infantry, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Which is good. So really, what can we recruit here? Nothing. We can't retrain anything. We can't recruit anything. That is brilliant. Ah. And why can't we recruit? No more types of this unit available for... Oh, so that's a different one. And we can't retrain either, which is going to be a bit of a pain. <clears throat> but we've got the Gondor infantry. But I don't think we can repel against that and that. So we really should think about reinforcing the front. So what we got over here? We've got the general and the faction leader. So what's he like? Loyalty, obedience. He's got good. So probably want to recruit there. And these guys probably need to... Now, where do we push? That is the question, guys. Where do we push? Do we push uh, up here? Or do we send the reinforcements to over here? But we, I think over... It is a tough one. I can't decide what we should do best. So we probably need to get these guys there, I think get them there <clears throat> probably need can't really take anything out I can maybe take a unit uh, a general out so what's it what's this guy like Mordor blade <clears throat> so we'll take him out he can go there probably that 
Like he's got, he's got, has got four units. Take them two. So he's got a bit of infantry. But we could do with some more. Like anything, we could do with more. More of everything is always good. So we've got him, got him. I just don't want to watch Tower really. Bandits, uh, not really worth it to be fair. But we've got a little army building there, so that is to push back. Hmm. Would be good to take out them, to be fair. Yeah, so that's maybe their next turn. To push out that turn, take these out. And then there'll be the reinforcements can help out there. So that should be good tactic. But let's focus over this side. It looks like we are able to make the assault. So let us begin. So don't know what their army is. What is it? Yeah, it's quite depleted. So we should do quite quickly on this battle here. And take the rebels from Rebel the Harrod settlement. From their mucky hands. And put them into our glorious Gondorian forces. So if you want to talk a bit quietly, is late at night. So try not to wake everyone up by being loud. So hopefully that isn't affecting the microphone quality too much. So let's begin. So I think that's good. Who we got pushing the rams. Good, good, good. So we really want... So we've got two units of spears. Gondor spearmen. Probably them there. Gondor infantry. <clears throat> Probably behind to run forward. If we need. Got the cav. Right at the back. And then. Probably where is the best place to attack? Probably over here actually. Yeah so we get all three of them. Spread them out there. And that leaves us with, I think, well, yeah, two archers. <clears throat> and then the rest of this infantry. So they probably want to be in one line, because they'll be crap otherwise, I think. Right, they're there as well. So let's start the battle. And let's speed it up. As we may as well, I'm going to get them to drop. And the rest of the army, other than them, groups let move forward. There we go. Keep moving forward. Good. So can I get any shots off with the archers? Aim for the general, I think, is the best shot. If we kill him, these guys are going to crumble a lot quicker. Ooh. So that actually didn't take too long to get through, as I thought. So the Russian... It looks like they're rushing. Are they rushing out? No, it doesn't look like they are. I don't know what they're doing exactly. So you guys stand there and stand defensive. So are we taking any of them out? Uh, oh, 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 back to... Oh, we paused it, right. Right, so you guys are going to be attacking now. Probably want to rush forward and two infantry run. Just to support them. Just so they don't get overrun too much. Alright, you get this side. Run there. You run this way. Run there. And the rest of the army, other than the archers, can move forward. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Now, pause, pause, pause. You run back. Alright, probably need a unit of spearmen. Alright, turn off the fire now. Good, so I've got some spearmen, it looks like, coming down for the help of the battle there, because these guys are going to easily get killed by him now. Oh, I forgot I've got two units of archers. Fire it will off, turn off. Because otherwise 
They're not going to do too well, I think. So we're going to push these guys in. Tag them in the flanks, boys. Yeah, there we go. As you can tell, Spearman already causing mass havoc to the Harrod General. I thought I turned it off. Yes, there we go. He is being slowly slaughtered. These guys are pushing. Uh, so we should easily, hopefully, have this. So I've got another unit, so I'm not too worried about losing all of them. I'd rather not. But yeah, they are killing the... They are killing the general, the servant's bodyguard. That sounds quite menacing. So I think he's only got three left. Three guys left. So I hope you guys are really enjoying this series. We're finally starting to secure our borders after a pretty bad start, to say. To say the least, we didn't do particularly too well at all. We kind of just we kind of just lost everything and couldn't really keep control. But we are slowly getting there, slowly pushing back the extending our territory, gaining the grounds that we deserve rightfully. So it looks like the general has retreated. To be fair, so I'm going to pull back the spearmen. As they are no longer needed. And it just seems a waste to use them all. But these guys are they're holding firmly. Now if I can get my archers now firing at the Corsairs. That should do some good damage. Just look at that. Just look at that armour. That is some serious. Serious protection there. And ooh. Some collateral shots. So these guys sh I don't think are going to last very long. We're pushing quite far good in far, quite far good quite well into their into their ranks and yeah there's not much they're going down quite quite nicely that like shooting fish in a barrel so I don't know what units they've got left to be fair I don't think they've got too many but I think they'll have just enough prob probably to hold the town centre for a little bit Although the general is being brave standing here on the front line. So let us keep going. Let us keep fighting. Like true men. So they are now coming to war. They are now at the general again. So if we now focus our attention on the general, we should do wonders. Now I'm going to probably push the spearmen. Spearmen should do... Mm, do I need to? Or should I just let them fight it out? I'm going to see how they do. It doesn't look like he's actually attacking. He's just kind of just stood there, just twiddling his thumbs. Seems to be the biggest. So and now he, I think he, he looks like he's fighting now, yeah. So we've got a bit of unit loss. They are routing. So I'm going to chuck in... They're tired, they're eager, victory distinct, so I'm going to push in these guys again, just for moral support with them being so elite. They are going to do well against them. And especially the bonus they get as well, but no, they're down to, he's down to him, he is the last. Oh no, he's, that's his bodyguard, there he is at the back. But now the Corsairs have pretty much been absolutely destroyed. Especially now that the Gondor Spearmen are also in the fray. Yeah, well, they got left two of them. Thirty-one, so they only lost one. Sorry about that, there, guys. I had to just cut the recording for a minute. But the battle is still on, so we're now pushing. So I'm gonna speed it up a bit. I'm gonna bring our army a bit closer now, just for that moral support. As these guys chew through the general. So they're getting there, but they are taking... So I want these guys to focus. You focus on the Corsairs. You focus on the General. So hopefully, yeah, now that they're attacking the Corsairs, they should hopefully, yes. Going down a lot quicker than before, but they're putting up a good fight. And these guys have lost... Well, it's a fair number of guys, but they are fighting valiantly to the dead end. And the General is still fighting... So I don't really want to commit any more guys unless I have to. But Jesus Christ, how many hits does this guy need? 
I know it was a lot in Rome Total War, uh, Rome Total War, but it's a lot more in this, or it seems to be. It doesn't seem to bloody want to die. It's just putting up a constant fight. Right to the death. So come on. Is there any of the courses left? Four. Four of the courses left, so I think you guys really should get over there now. You've done your job. And let's throw our general in now. Because these spearmen are just... They're not doing too well. Yes, they can take out the last courses. Get our general in to the fray. Hopefully to... Hopefully to kill this general a bit quicker. Because he's really becoming the grind. Taking only five minutes to kill this bugger. Right, so what is in their centre? So it looks like they have got... <clears throat> one spearman. Um, that. What? What are these? What are these units running down? Also, some marches, but yes, he has been defeated finally. Thank God for that. So, if I run the general now to take out him and get these two to run, and take out that spearman. <clears throat> so we should be all right. Where are they going? Yeah, see, they're not going to do much. They'll be dead. Oh, he... oh, I thought it killed the general then. I was about to really say, that would have not been good. But how did that one shot manage to kill him? Jesus, that was a luck. That was a lucky shot. But now, coming to the end, the last two Harrod spearmen. But I don't think they're going to put up much of a fight. Yeah, no, we killed him, but we managed to kill another Jesus Christ. And yes. So we lost 155 men. That isn't too bad at all. But we have taken the settlement after all. So that is the main thing that matters. That is all that matters. It is that we are victorious. At the end of the day. Enemy army route. Brilliant. And Barad Haran is ours. Uh, so we'll sack the settlement. Good. And let's see what this type of settlement is. Let's repair that. <clears throat> I can't retrain though. Probably because I've got to delete the... Uh, probably because I've got to get rid of the thing and that. But I'll sort that out. But I'm just going to put a quick pause in the episode again guys. And I'll be back in one moment. Alright guys, I am back now. Sorry about that. It's probably been about an hour since I paused the recording there. Just because I had to go do some bits and bobs, dropping sisters off and that at parties. So we have now conquered Barad Haran. Uh, so we can recruit here, Library of Chicken Farm. But we should be okay for the minute. And it looks like they're sending a little bit of an army there. So nothing too much. But we will recruit a spy as that is going to be good around this end. And that shit looks like it's moored, but there is no army on there. So I'm not going to worry about that too much now. So this looks like that could be a settlement as well. So we will have to find out. So let's do a bit of a, a bit of maintenance of the old settlement. So we've got that. That can't recruit. Construction that there, so there's no point in queuing. Can't recruit, but can construct, but is that ideal? We'll do West Osgiliath, as obviously that is a bit further behind the lines. So what do we need? Library. So Gondor Cavalry. Uh, what else? Upgrades armour. So that might be a good one to have. So we'll do upgrade the armor. As I'm not too worried about the cavalry. And then over here we're constructing the markets. So that's fine. Not building here though. But do I build some more troops or not? <clears throat> They're going to be a bit far away. We're recruiting a Minas Tirith. We've got the army there. Which should be enough to take out them. I'm hoping. Yeah because these guys can hold it. They can shoot. And he can do cycle charges. So that's fine. 
Over here, not needing to recruit anything yet, because these are well f a while away from the front. Town watch improves public order and re allows one recruitment slot. Um, maybe, maybe because they are at the front line of the thing, but I don't know. It's really hard to choose what buildings to construct. I don't think anything there is going to be particularly of much use. Um, if we have a look. So what, so what was it before? So, 224, build a road. Yes, it goes up by, so it's not, really isn't worth it that much at all. Dermont, again, they've got some good ones, but there isn't really any point in recruiting there. Linher does need to have some recruitment done, so recruit there. And library is a cultural increase, so not going to worry too much about that. Tarhos, <clears throat> again, probably want to recruit here. And that, and then I probably want to do, what can we do? Oh, we can recruit over here, so. Do we need any more troops at though? That is the question. I'm doing that for the pure, the, them two for the pure fact of um, polling Lynnhurst. Uh, Linhur. I keep calling it Linhurst. Don't know why, but well, apparently I do. So let us construct leather tanner. Uh, it's not really a main one though. It's, this is the main one. doll um, doll and broth. Uh, leather tanner. So we'll do a leather tanner here because that will be good. That will be good for us. Right. So let us end the turn again and see what happens. Also, I have a spy going up there for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know why. Mr. A must have sent him there, and that. Uh, so let us see what has happened. What Mordor? Yes, I thought. Yeah, they're gonna siege. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So we need to take out our army at the back. Oh, but I can't get me reinforcements, but that is fine. Yeah, that is fine. So settlement besieged. We know that was gonna happen. End of term report. We are making money again. Good. So we've not lost any faction announcements. Good. Good, good, good. Repair complete. That's good. And recruitment report. Right. So let's start with our spy. Where are we? Uh, we got a bit too far. So, whoa, that's a big army. Where did all that come from? So what they got? They've got three archers. They've got some South Ron Lancers. What are they? Are they light or heavy calf? They're not going to be good against spears anyway. It's they're not going to be. The good thing is they're not going to be good at this settlement type. Right. So I've got me spy. So I probably want to get him out. Can I? I can't retrain yet. But what can I build? Chicken farm. So I suppose there's no point in. But I have a decent army. Yeah, we've still got plenty of spears. Got. A Two units of archers. We've got some account of our own. So I have got a decent strong army. Is it worth trying to... So Oh, he has done it. He has managed to get there, which is good. It's a trait increase. Another trait increase. So we can now see what they've got. So they've got the South Run War Bands. So they are going to be like the tougher... The tougher ones. That's what our archers need to focus down, and the jet, especially taking out general. These generals are tough, so that is going to be a big army coming to attack us. Right now, so they've got who have they attacked us with? They've attacked us with the big army, but we have got. <coughs> what? Have, how much have we got? Can I recruit? I can't recruit anyone now. Can't, I can retrain though. So, I've got a unit of archers to protect the walls, two general calves, another calf, some Gondor infantry, and some Gondor militia. God damn it, I want to click on him. He has got quite a mixed army. He's got some strong, but it looks like they've left some behind. Which might be for various reasons, but we'll soon see. So let us 
use him to... S I can't remember. Right, good. So weak, weak, weak. So I've got three that are weak. But my, the orc band would be tough. And the orc band look like they're fairly tough. The defense isn't too much. The maulers are the maulers. But we should be able to do it if we're good. <clears throat> that is going to be a tough one. Yes. But. Right, so the balance of power is quite even. So they've got one there. And they're all orc band again. So we've really got to use our tactics wisely here. So let us fight this battle. If we're daft, we will lose this. And that is not part, not that, not plan. We cannot afford to lose any more troops in that. We need this to help push forward against that other army. So we will do our best. Not really been able to help Mr. A out this episode by getting that siege another settlement. But what, is, what can you do? It seems to be opposite turns every single time. One time it's good, next time it's bad. So. We've attacked them, but they are coming uphill, so that is going to work in our favour. But I wonder where they're going <coughs> to gonna go. So do I start here? Otherwise, I'm going to have to probably start in the middle here. Yeah, that's a nice spot. So if I put these guys in a line... <coughs> now they need to be on defensive. And then the archers at the front. And the cav behind. Right, army. Group. Right, so we need to be that way. And I need you to actually run this time. Because I need you to be... Yeah, run. Get into position now. Is that going to be the key thing? They're giving up there. Can't tell what they're doing. Right, get over here now. Run. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. Alright, so we need them to be in position, because I need to use my archers wisely. I need my infantry to just hold as well. Oh, no, what have I done? Run, run, just run, run, get in position. So it's going to be a tough one. It is going to be a tough battle. It is close, but I should hopefully be able to do something here that's going to help. So my archers should start firing, and that is the key. We've got us, we've got us around them. We've got to preoccupy some units with the archers, which is good. So we are going to start getting some volleys off into them. There. Yeah, so we probably need to. Right. Yeah. So we probably need to bring some archers around there. Probably. The other archers round here then probably the cav round there as well yeah we need to make sure that they're <coughs> that they're firing at all times I'm going to turn off fire at will just so I can focus I'm going to turn off I have to turn off running as well run Right, good, good, good. Right, get through there, get through that gap. No, get this way. Get through, get this, get this way, get this way. Jesus Christ, come on. Come on. Get over here. Get over here now, you're just losing guys, just for the pure fact of it. Get over here, attack them. Right, get through, get around here. You... <clears throat> you attack them. Keep them busy. Right, you've got to get round here. Blow that. <clears throat> See, we might have lost this now because he didn't... He wasn't quick enough. Getting away. Come on. We can do this. Right. Attack them. If we can crumple one side quickly... We should be... Okay. Right, get out again. Get out again. So they are being attacked on two sides over here. But if we need to crumple, 
this one. Come on, we can do this. <clears throat> Come on, if they break, I <laughs> don't care if they come back. You just gotta break. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, we're losing more. This cavalry is not doing. Come on, just get out of there. Get out of there. Don't <clears throat> start. Right. <clears throat> Hit the center. Hit the center here, because this guy is dwindling. He is down to 30. Right. Come on. Wavering. Yes, we've broken them. They're shaken. They've broken. Yes, that's what we needed. That is what we needed. They're still fighting over here. <clears throat> right, we've broken them as well. Good, good, good. And that is what we want. So my infantry... Them and them need to probably line up over there. But Jesus Christ, that was close. We've lost. We lost 32%, which, yeah, it's the, more the infantry, but we've got the archers. Oh, so they're actually chopping them down. I didn't actually expect them to. Uh, you run after them. Because so you shoot after them. You go after them. <clears throat> they're being shot down now, which is good. And you come back over here. You actually aim, f run after, where have they gone? Oh, so they've come back. So you need to probably get over there. Yeah, right, get over there. Right, good. And then I think by the time they get tapped in the back, they'll be... <coughs> they'll probably break. Wavering. Yeah, broken. We will now wipe them out. Right, you... Is it you? Yeah, you stop firing. Otherwise you're going to kill our own troops. Good, they're now being shot down. And to be fair, you run after them as well. May as well kill as many as we can. Kill them all. So that was close. That looked like that could have gone their way. Because we did lose. Even in defensive, they were really chopping through our guys. I know they're only militia. But still. But luckily, we managed to held on. <coughs> oh, sorry, I got really bad cough. And it's really annoyed because you guys are really, it's ruining the experience for you guys. But luckily, this flank over here, although they killed 22, they managed to hold on just long enough. So let us shoot all them. Yeah, so how much have we killed? 97, I think that's done. Good, so we've not done... We killed a lot of theirs, so we've not done too bad. I was going to say, we defeated them on that side, and now we've got them all there, so there's no more Mordor, uh, Mordor armies roaming around the lands. The scum. The bloody scum, how dare they. So all that matters now, uh, I'll execute the troops. Enemy, well they didn't really rout, they got executed. Right, so... So there's nothing we can do other than stand really close so that if they attack we can get drawn in. Um, but no, I'm quite happy with that. We won. Trait increase, a plus two command as well. So yeah, he's getting some good command. And the retinue expands. Mordor by the symbol of victory against armies of Mordor. So good. So that actually paid off. So we have now got our full attention on just the on these guys over here. So, hopefully, if we take out this army, these two combined, we can push forward and take Henneth Anu. Now, I could do, if I had an agent, do we have an agent anywhere near? Or can I get an agent by nearby? Let's have a look. <coughs> Doesn't look like a can. Bugger. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to recruit some more cav. No. Can I get an agent? No, I can't. I can get a diplomat, but that's not an agent. So what can we build here? Market. Increasing tradable goods. Because money at the minute is the main thing. We need to build some money. So what they got at the minute? They've got 1,012 trade. Market takes up to 1,082. It's not really worth it. Chicken farming. That increases the population growth. 
We've got a school. So it's culture increase bonus. Brothel is recruitment of a spy. So probably a brothel, because we could do with some spies being recruited. And that. <coughs> oh. Bloody Nora. Right, so they've not progressed in their <coughs> end turn. Which is... I can't tell if that's good or bad. But this army is quite strong, and they're getting stronger. So Lin Her now is doing alright. Tanner is a lot happier now. They've got some troops in them as well. And Dol Amrod. So this guy... He's only got bandits and huntsmen, but his general unit would be tough. So I do need a, probably a good general to go up against him. Now, I could recruit more, but I think, like I said, I'm going to hold off on the troops for the minute. So let's have a look. Up here, they're unhappy. Uh, why are they unhappy? Oh, wrong one. Right, no governance, that would be why. There are no units either. So I probably need some militia just to keep them happy. And they're bringing in 203, 230, 42. See, so it brings in a bit more. Oh, the leather tanner. What's really pointless that is, so I may as well have the improved food production. Bring in a bit more money. Try to upgrade these outer ring settlements. Now... <coughs> These guys, uh, I keep pressing that one for some reason. So the grain exchange does nothing. The brothel also does nothing. So it's one of them over here. It's like, do we take them or do we not? It's just, I don't know. I would like to move them and bring them to put here. But I know if, as soon as I do, we'll end up losing them. Which isn't good. Because <coughs> that's why we really need this army over here. Combine with the few troops there, and then pick up a few more troops over here. Well, they'll be able to take out that army, that army, and hopefully that one as well. Then they'll be able to come down here, take out this one, which then means we can bring a few troops down here, and then push, really, for this one here, the Mordor Fortress, because that is going to hold, if we can hold that and keep a big army there, we should do all right to be able to push down this land here. But anyway, <coughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment, like, and if you did, then please subscribe as well. So this is Jorsan out. Cheers, guys.